Hey guys, this is Tom at VSC, and I want to talk a little bit about how to get a data log from your L5P. It seems to be a pretty hot topic. Us as calibrators, I believe that we probably overlook this or take it for granted quite often. There are a couple ways to do data logs uh, with L5Ps. When we're doing development work on the dyno, we're obviously hooking up with some sensors that most people wouldn't have access to, like turbo shaft speed sensors, uh, EGT monitoring, a calibrated MAF, boost and dry pressure gauges uh, for dry pressure ratio calculations, five gas analyzers, opacity meters, and a host of other tools that we have around the dyno bay um, to make power. So we're using it to make uh, power with our new turbos that are coming out. This is the little guy making 654 horsepower, which is a pretty significant, about 60 horsepower gain over the stock turbo max output. So how did we get there? We got there by the use of those sensors I just explained, but more importantly, by the usage of data logging with HP Tuner software. So what you'll need is a laptop that's charged up. You're gonna need an MVPI2 or three cable or two plus, and you're gonna need vehicle power or a good, you know, just a vehicle that will start and run or at least have enough battery power that we can uh, turn the key on and actually hit record. So the process goes as such. You push the start button, either start the vehicle or just turn it on in general. Um, if it won't start, if you just turn it on, that's going to be good enough. If we're just going to hit a, like a no crank, no start log or something like that. Um, if the truck has an issue or there's something wrong with it, then we, we're going to ask you to do an idle log, uh, part throttle drive, try to replicate this scenario. And if you can, a wide open throttle log so we can figure out what's up. So, to actually load the file, we're going to send you a channel config. And a channel config pings the ECM with specific data. So we target it in a high bit rate or high polling rate. So we know what we're actually looking at. So to load the channel config that we will email or send you, you will go to the channel config list. And you're going to hit open channel config. Actually, before you do that, you, you should connect to the truck. So hit the little blue icon it's going to connect to the vehicle and it just pinged the ECM to say, Hey, I'm here and I'm now ready to connect. And then you hit this little drop down here under the channels. So recent channels hit open channel config and you're going to load the one that we sent you. It's more than likely if it's for an L5P, it's going to be called all L5P channels. There are a whole bunch of other types of channel configs we can send you, but typically whatever we send you is going to be in an .xml format, .xml. So you click on that guy and it opens up and it just pinged the ECM with all the stuff that we want to listen to and talk to the ECM with. There's a whole bunch of them. And to get us the data log, you're going to hit the little red icon for start scanning and then you're going to drive it or you're going to do whatever you need to do with it. And then when you're done, you're going to hit stop scanning. And then you're going to go to save log file as, and then you're going to name it, wherever that may be. So whatever that file is saved, it's going to be saved as a .hpl or .hplog. So that is the file format you're going to send us. Do not send us in .xml. That's just sending us the channel config back. We need you to send us the .hpl. And in that HPL file is going to be all the stuff that we need so we can see what is up with your truck. If you guys have any questions on that or need any further information, you can always message us or just give us a Zendesk ticket. We do have a data log review program that's going live, so you can obviously check out and send stuff there. But we surely hope this helps and make sure that these trucks run perfectly. That's all we got. Thanks.